وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد الإمام البخاري هي نريتر صحيح من حديث جابر بن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنهما يسد كان المسجد مسقوفا على جذوع من نخل فكان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا خطب يقوم إلى جذع منها فلما صنع له المنبر وكان عليه صلاة الله وسلامه عليه فسمعنا لذلك الجذع صوتا كصوت العشار حتى جاء النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فوضع يده عليها فسكنت In this hadith my beloved brothers and sisters ponder over it may Allah tabarak wa ta'ala protect you all from harm this hadith is a very powerful hadith and this hadith yuharriku al-qulub al-ghafila this hadith will move the heart of those people who are heedless it will also it will move an-nufus al-mu'rida anyone whose soul has turned away from the love of the prophet alayhi salatu wassalam this hadith clarifies and explains to us the position that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam has and occupies the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam there was a branch in which the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to do the khutbah al jumu'ah from and the khutbah whenever he would do it alayhi salatu wasallam this branch would be in very close proximity of the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam but then when the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a pulpit was made for him and he was forced to leave the branch he was forced to leave the tree sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was to then go to that pulpit and do the khutbah from there the pulpit cried the narration mentions ja'ala ta'innu anina sabi it started to cry the crying of a child the sahabas they heard this Sahabat Rasulullah, they heard this. A, a creation of Allah that hasn't got aql but cries for the Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam. Recognizes the position of the Prophet alayhi salatu wassalam and cries for him. وَلِذَلِكَ حَسَنُ الْبَصْرِيُّ رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ and Hassan al-Basri is considered, considered to be from the what? Mina Imati Tabi'in, the great Imams of the Tabi'in. Whenever he would narrate this hadith, Baka he would cry. Whenever he would mention this hadith of a branch that would cry for the Prophet, whenever he would mention it, he would cry and he would say, Fa'antum ahaku and tashtaku ila Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min al jidr. You guys, brothers and sisters, Hassan Basri would say, you guys are the first ones who should long for the Prophet Sallallahu have that passionate love for him والسلام, then a branch, then a tree. نعم أيها المؤمنون Yes, my beloved brothers and sisters. أنتم أحق أن تشتاقوا إليه والله, we are the ones who should love the Prophet first والسلام, We know his biography والسلام, we know the distinct things Allah gave him subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know his shama'il, his qualities, his characteristics, his unique attributes, his virtuous deeds, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We know manzilatahu rafi'a the high position he has, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should, brothers and sisters, this hadith should penetrate our hearts and it should be something that we come with, brothers and sisters, which is to love the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. We are now finding present in many of the youths and even the new generation, the young generations who are coming up, we're finding in their brothers and sisters what? 
what has become clear is the lack of passion of wanting to know the biography of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Not studying who he is Alayhi Salatu Wasallam, his biography. Also giving love to the dunya uh, over the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Giving precedence to the desires over the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, he said to us, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ if you love Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ If you love Allah, then follow the Prophet والسلام, Allah will love you. And Allah will forgive you for your sins and your shortcomings. وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ Verily, Allah wa ta'ala, is one who forgives. He's very merciful, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith, Imam al-Bukhari and Muslim both narrated, من حديث أنس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه that the Prophet said والذي نفسي بيده لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس أجمعين that a person will not be a true believer he will not believe in Allah and the day of judgment until I become more beloved to him than his parents his children and all of the people you have to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi more than your own children. You have to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi more than your parents. You have to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi more than anybody. Also, Imam Al-Bukhari narrated, حَتَّى أَكُونَ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْهِ مِن نَفْسِكِ The Prophet said to Umar ibn al-Khattab, you are not going to believe until I am more beloved to you than your own self. You have to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam than your own self. One of the ways that we're Seeing people lose the love for the Prophet ﷺ is al-i'radu an sunnatihi al-gharra wa mahajjatihi al-bayda wa hadihi al-qawim. You're seeing a lot of people turning away from the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and busying themselves with what? Busying themselves with opinions and ideologies and views perpetrated and pushed by others. Not the Prophet ﷺ, but views by Orientalists, non-Muslims glorifying and venerating those statements whilst on the other hand dismissing and dis expelling and getting rid of the Prophet والسلام, statements and his traditions والسلام, and his guidance which in it is our salvation and our prosperity we've seen a lot of people nowadays when you tell them the Prophet والسلام, said this the question they ask you lima Walakin, kayf, honey, they jump to questions. How, why, where, when, questions after questions, all of it just to not take it. The love of the Prophet is dying out. Knowing his position is dying out. Not trusting his statements والسلام, is becoming common amongst many people today. And Allah told us in the Quran, وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحِيُّ يُوحَىٰ Nabi Muhammad does not speak from his own whims and desires. Whatever he says is a revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're seeing people what? الْإِنْصِرَافُ عَنْ قِرَاءَةِ سِيرَتِهِ الْمُبَارَكَةِ وَأَخْبَارِهِ الشَّرِيفَةِ الْمَجِيدَةِ Leaving study the biography of the Prophet ﷺ. And knowing his life. Where was he born? Where did he die? How many years was he in Mecca? How many years was he in Medina? How many expeditions and battles did the Prophet ﷺ participate in? When was the, the night of Al-Isra wa Al-Mi'raj? What is the story and the, the events revolving around it? And he not knowing all of that. We're seeing that. And this is all brothers and sisters, uh, a new problem that we're seeing. Also, brothers and sisters, we're seeing people pushing acts and speeches that are in opposition to his way, والسلام, And this is also, also considered a, a harm to your love of the Prophet, والسلام, When you, you start giving love towards a way other than his way, the Prophet Sallallahu he said, فَمَنْ رَغِبَ عَنْ سُنَّتِي فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي The one who loves other than my sunnah is not from me. 
The Prophet also said, Man amila amala alayhi amruna fawarad, anyone who does an action that is not from our affairs, it's rejected, it's not accepted. Also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Amma ba'du fa inna asdaq al-hadithi kitabullah wa inna afdal al-hadi hadi muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sharra al-umuri muhdathatuha wa kulla bid'atin dalala. The Prophet said this. The Prophet said to proceed. The most truthful of speech is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the best of guidance is the guidance of Nabi Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the worst, the evilest of affairs is the newly invented matters. And every newly invented matter, any, every innovation is misguidance. Also, we find a lot of people who the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mentioned and they don't say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He's mentioned, but they don't give importance to as-salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Especially when he's mentioned. And Imam Muhammad narrated fi musnadihi. And other great scholars have also narrated it. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, al-bakhil, the stingy. The person who is stingy is what? Is what? Man dhukirtu. Indahu falam yusalli alayya. The one who I am mentioned in his presence. And he doesn't say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Wa barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Allah says in the Quran, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi Ya ayu al-ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent salutation. Allah and the angels, they sent salutation on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi. Ya ayu al-ladhina amanu, those of you who believe, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. So there's two things we need to do for, for, for him that the ayah instructs us. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu, which is sallu alayhi. Wa sallimu, wa sallimu. We have to say both of that for him. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Alayhi salatu wa salam. We need to do that for him. That's what I wanted to say, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdih. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users. And imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't wanna miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.